Well, just when you think you're done doing DIY stuff that you don't want to do, Leslie is making me do some more stuff that I don't want to do. I wanted you to do it for almost two years now. But I'm not doing it by myself. No. Got my good buddy Mel. Yes. Who is the jack of all trades. He's going to help. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. So we have a lots of space in here. We, ha we do have a lot of space. Yeah. So we're not a shortage of that. But you can see this wall right here slants in and then it goes out that way. Well, behind this wall, there's not a lot going on. So what Leslie wants us to do is to square this off at a right angle and then we'll gain about i don't know maybe a foot and a half two feet of extra space there so uh, we have it all cleared out through here we just gotta take this wall off i think we have to relocate one of the the coax hookup back there and then we will square this off and then i think after that we'll measure out and we'll see what how big of a board we need to go that way and and how we need to frame it out that way mm -hmm. yeah that's what i was told by mel <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't come up with that on my own. <laughs> All right, here's what it looks like behind it. There's the framing where it's framed out in that angle. So we want to go this way and then square it off there. You can't go too far over here because you have the plumbing for the toilet. And we will probably have to relocate this over to here, to the other side. So the wiring's not in the way when we square that up, but it just has a couple of bolts here. This should be pretty easy to unbolt from there and then from the floor, and then just shift that over, bolt it back down. But then you gotta you gotta build a frame for that other piece on the 90 degree angle. You act like you know what you're doing. Hey, look, <laughs> I can I can regurgitate information. That's true. I can't come up with stuff on my own. No. But I can make up other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll I sounded start. smart though, didn't I? For a moment there you did yeah <laughs> all right stage one is complete so took this wall that was slanted that way and pushed it that way which took a little doing because this frame back here it is jammed it is jammed up in there tight so we had to get the old uh rubber mallet and knock it out and then uh well, of course we had to unscrew everything and then knock the thing out and of course we put it in here and according to the level it's not level up and down but yeah. if you make it level to the eye it's level yeah if you make it level like yeah. real level then it doesn't look level no to the eye because these rvs when they're put together it's crazy nothing's but, perfect but we are going to gain some space here but now we got to yes. run to the lumber yard we got to get some i guess uh, wood some there. wood there to frame frame it out a little bit and then the plywood and then i think we'll have to get some carpet to try yeah. to match this as best we can yeah but so far looking good we ran into a little bit of snag just a little. We went to the hardware store to get some wood to finish that off and uh, missed it by 11 minutes. Yeah. They close early in little towns. They do close <laughs> early in little towns. Um, but, and then we were having the conversation on the truck over there. It's like, you know, why didn't Alliance, and not just Alliance, everybody no, does everybody. It, but, but why didn't Alliance square that off in the first place? And the reason why, as best I can figure is, and I haven't talked to Alliance about this or anything, but the best <laughs> I can figure is, you know, both of those um, those frame sections are the same size. size. So if they squared it off, they'd have to make three different size pieces, pieces mm -hmm. and they're not going to do that. For faster yeah. production, easier, especially get one template and just bam, 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 just keep knocking them out off Cookie the line, put them out. onto the assembly line, just bam this way, and then bam at an angle, and way easier and quicker for them to get that done. Yeah. Not the best for us. We lose about a foot and a half of yeah. of footprint and in the rv world that's a lot it is a lot people but want that space we're getting it done yes we're gonna square it off like, that's why they do it. they're like oh, if they want it square they can do it themselves yeah <laughs> so hopefully after this video you will see that it's possible and it can actually look good and be functional and you get a little bit more space back yes yeah. like all that space we lost for uh lithium we're gonna gain it by pushing this wall back it's about yeah it is about uh, what our batteries take, take up, up. The width of that so yeah so like actually when all said and done we lost no space broke even <laughs> yeah I like and the that's the best that. you can hope for in life isn't it really to break even <laughs> <laughs> that's true so true thank you to the sponsor of today's video rv mattress by brooklyn bedding one of the first things you're always going to want to do when you get your new rv is change out the mattress absolutely because the mattresses that come in these things <laughs> it's like sleeping on plywood yes honestly mm -hmm. um we have the aurora lux yes in the soft Oh, yeah. in the RV King <laughs> and it regulates our body temperature it has like science going on in there that keeps yes. you at a perfect 88 degree 
sleeping temperature. But if that's not for you, they have a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different firmnesses. Yes. And they're custom made for RVs. Yeah. So they will fit in RVs. Exactly. Unlike some regular mattresses that you'll find in the store. They also come with a 120 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty, and free shipping directly from the factory in Arizona. They don't just have mattresses. No. They have accessories. I love accessories. We have the pillows, the sheets. Um, our daughter has one of their weighted, weighted blankets. blankets. They yeah. also have mattress protectors and all kinds of other accessories. Hey, check this out. This is the most coolest part. We can save you 25% mm -hmm. on your next RV mattress with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. All you gotta do is pop over to the link in the description of the video and use the promo code WAGS and save 25% at checkout. What well, is day two of this project to square off this basement? We were hoping it would only take one day, but we got to the lumber yard a little too late yesterday. And so, what I'm gonna do this morning is I had an idea because you know, sometimes when you try to match the carpet and you take a picture of it, it just doesn't match because of the color profile of your camera. And so, we did that yesterday when we were gonna go. And today, I'm like, you know what? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off a little piece because on these boards, there's overlap of the carpet where they tack it down. So what I'll do is like in one of the discrete areas where you can't really tell that the carpet was cut off, I'll cut off a little piece and I'll take it with us. There you have it. There's a little piece that we're gonna take with us to Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever we end up going. And this will be able to let us match it more accurately than just looking at a picture. <laughs> we're at the Home Depot's, we're trying to match this stuff up. I got my little carpet here. It's gonna be as close as we can get. It looks pretty close, huh? Yeah. You can't even hardly see that. I'm not gonna be too picky. You can't see that piece in there. Like, hey? pattern-wise, it yeah. might be a different. Color is perfect. Yeah, I think it'll work. But it's a small wall, so it's not gonna matter. See? How smart am I? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> They're busting out a whole new, brand new roll just for the wayward wag. That's right. VIP status. Rolling out the carpet for us. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We got our supplies. We got our plywood. We got our two by two. We got our carpet. We got our self-tapping screws. It's going to go through the wood and then through the metal. And uh, she's got to build out this little part right here. Frame it out. Carpet it. Screw it in. We'll be good to go. All right, we got two by twos in. One on the top. One on the bottom. Let's see. It's going to overlap right here and up there. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut a notch out of this corner here and that corner there to fit over those two by twos so that it'll slide snug into place because this board that I just showed you is flush with that dimensions of this frame. So we have to cut the corners out top and bottom there. Well, we're cruising right along. We got the, uh, the board cut and here's what I was talking about with those notches. We had to cut a notch up there and then cut a notch down there because when we framed that out it needed to fit in there snug. So now we're going to cut the plywood that's going to go here. Once we cut it and make sure it fits and everything then we'll carpet it and we'll put it in. When we put it in we're going to drill, drill it into these studs here. So when it sits flush you probably have a little bit of overhang here. So we're going to take this piece of wood out We'll cut it down as far as we need to cut it down. We'll just peel the carpet off, cut it down, peel, and then put the carpet back over the top of it. And then we should have a flush square corner right there. basically a carpenter, upholsterer, electrician, plumber. I just keep adding stuff to my resume, man. Should add BS to your resume. <laughs> All right, let me get in here so I can show you what's, what's going on here. So maybe we matched the carpet pretty well, I think. I mean, you can't really tell that from that. This does have little lines in it and this doesn't, but you can't really tell that, especially when we put stuff in here, you're not gonna be able to tell. You know what I was talking about before, we were going to pull this out and we were going to unroll the carpet off there, cut an inch off, roll the carpet back, tack it back down. But then we got to looking over here and we got this seam where it just like slides in to there. So what we did was we pulled it out, cut that side off, just left it open and raw. 
because it's going to be pushed into this frame anyway and that way we didn't have to screw with this it was already finished and you just push that that way after we cut the inch off and we had plenty of clearance for the pipe so we didn't have to adjust that hole at all so now we're perfectly squared off and it looks like man it looks like it is always supposed to be like this all right here's how ocd leslie is all the other screw heads were black but we had to buy four extra screws to do that back panel and they were silver headed so she's got the sharpie coloring the metallic screw heads and making them black trying i might have to get my uh craft paint and i can fill in the holes better because it's that serious it is that serious <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a really stupid question but how do you like it <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it love is it. way better than I thought it would be, honestly. I mean, I just, I, I'm really good at envisioning things and seeing what it would look like, but I just didn't see it being that good. It's phenomenal. Yeah, and, well, and I know that I, I would not have done a, a good, as good get a job it. as it's Mel good. did. No, no, there's no way. I, I might have <laughs> been able to get not. it done, but it wouldn't have looked. It looked like it came that way in the factory, man. It does. Yeah. It's perfect. I'll throw up an overlay of the before and after of what our storage looks like mm -hmm. right now. And the way that three drawer chest was had to be angled, mm -hmm. it just pushed everything, it had to be over, pushed over further to the right and it just made it look smaller than it actually was. So yeah, we, we didn't gain that much space, but because we can push that three drawer chest now into the corner, corner. It makes it appear like we... It's the illusion. We have a yeah. lot more space. Well, it looks. It makes it look like we don't have that much stuff anymore. I know. Anymore. I'm like, man, we look homeless now. Yeah. We got nothing. But, man, I'm, I'm super impressed. It was a great job by Mel. And I, I, all I did was really film and, and hold <laughs> and stuff hold down wood. while he was cutting it or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I was, oh, you need this tool. I got you. I'll go get the tool for him. Yeah. But, so, um, and, and we'll... I, yeah. And it only took two and a half years to convince you that this needed to be done. Oh, no, I, I was convinced that it would be good to get done, but I just was convinced that I wasn't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> the timing was perfect to meet yeah, up Yeah, it worked Mel out Nettie. good. And so, yeah, thank you, Mel and Nettie, for coming over and helping Can't us out. thank them enough. Yeah, great oh folks. God. And uh, we'll leave a link to their channel in the description, mm -hmm. too. You want to go check out their channel? Yeah. So it's not really a how-to. Uh, we didn't really break down how to do it, but, it, yeah. it, but now you know at least it can be done. Yeah. And I, and I did try to talk you through what Mel talked me through <laughs> to show you what it was going to look like and what we had to do at, at yeah. each step. So hopefully that helped out. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment. And uh, leave us a comment, too, and let us know what you think about the uh, new storage space. Yeah, man, we're just all sorts of changes. We're changing the bathroom. We're getting solar. We're squaring off walls. Like, what's next? No, there's no next. No. We're on a roll. There's no I next. Feel like we're, we got momentum. We're, we're done. Just, this is good. We need another project. What's no. That? No. 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 Okay. I'm in in the video before she starts thinking of more stuff. So hey, stick around for a few <laughs> seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. You want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road? Everything you need to know is right down in the description. Appreciate you watching. Thanks again, Mel. Yes. We love you guys. Mwah. See you next time. Bye. Bye.